Well, Coach, that was a bounce back win uh, on, to the, on Sunday, winning six to three. And Luke Keyshaw had a had a big day, had a home run. You had the uh, two RBIs in the contest, and uh, really that the that that was that was the, the difference. He looks like he's getting out of his uh, getting out of his little bit of a slump the early part of the season. Yeah, I don't I don't think you I think he's always been pretty productive offensively right. for us, but. Uh... Nice to see him get himself a base hit and then uh, get another home run. I mean, two home runs, four doubles. I wouldn't necessarily say that uh, he's struggling a whole lot in the first eight, eight or nine games. Those are some really outstanding power numbers for him, and, he, and he's just going to keep having more and more as we go. But, uh, man, he's a good player. He had a great defensive play to save two runs. Maybe the turning point of the ball game. I mean, he put him in that leadoff hole, and he just, uh, you know, did his thing to that. Yeah, it was good for him. He tried to get him an extra at bat today so that uh, he had an opportunity to, to get himself going. But, uh, man, I was happy by the way he played, you know. And only four hits today and we win. So it's not really about how many hits you get. It's about how many timely hits you get with runners on base. And I think we might have had four or five stolen bases, four hits. So uh, we really capitalized on moving runners and, and being able to score runners. So uh, a good win for us, win three out of four. Definitely, we would have liked to have won all four games in the series, but we didn't pitch well enough yesterday to do it. Uh, today, we really had a wonderful outing by uh, Josh Malaris, man. Josh just changed the game. 3-3 three, three game, and he just took the momentum and put it on our side for the next four innings. Very impressive where he was a couple of year, a few years back, pre-pandemic as well. Yeah, it was great. You know, he threw the fastball well. He threw the slider well today. Uh, we extended him for 58 pitches, uh, which, you know, they, they gave us an opportunity to do so, uh, not having to use him yesterday. But, uh, man, he sure did step up. And then uh, we got some good stuff from Santier. Uh, I thought Beck was not very aggressive. I uh, wished he would have been a little more aggressive with the fastball uh, and the breaking ball. But uh, we got some things to figure out. And then offensively, man, we're going to have to find somebody that's going to be able to pick up some slack. You know, really good game by Kyle Nell. Uh, two hits in the nine hole, uh, had a chance to have a game-winning RBI there, and then uh, obviously Kieschel, uh put it out of, out of reach with the home run and then uh, the ball that he beats out on the double play ball. So, uh, you know, happy for the guys. We get three out of four at home. Uh, We've got to go on the road on Tuesday. We play five games in the next six days, so mm -hmm. uh, we got to get some rest tomorrow. Uh, and then we gotta we gotta pick it right back up and uh, play five out of the next six uh, days. And status on your vetage, he left second time of the week. Um, vet got hit in the in the face. Uh, same thing what happened last week uh, with uh, Jake. And um, you know, like that theory, you think of Tony Canigliaro back in '67 during the heat of their pennant race, uh, possible dream Red Sox team of '67 or. Uh, Dickie Thon getting drilled by a fastball um, with Houston has his career was altered, or you know Robbie Thompson getting drilled late in '93 by a Trevor Hoffman fastball didn't return to the last game of that '93 season in that great race with the Braves uh, uh, some twenty almost three decades ago. What's the status on uh, your vintage? I uh, don't know right now. You know, obviously they're doing an X-ray to see if there's anything broken in the jaw. precautionary. Uh, but uh, we know he's going to get stitches. He just went back with the nurse to, to get himself stitched up. So uh, the ball, you know, pushed it against the, the tooth mm. on the bottom and, and, and split his lip. So Ouch. Uh, he's going to be a little sore, I'm sure. And uh, I'm sure he's going to have to come in there and battle back for us. But he's a tough kid, right? And uh, just like Cosgrove, they're both really tough kids. And hopefully uh, that's the last of... Uh, of, of what's happening with the hit by pitches, but man, uh, it's, it's been a rough, it's been a rough go for us. And, uh, uh, every Sunday, two Sundays in a row, we've lost a guy late in the game in the ninth inning when, uh, no reason for that. All right, coach. Thanks Pete.